Hey everybody! It's been I'm a amused. It, yeah, me too. Um, it's been a little bit, but um, we're gonna tackle two Mortal Kombat games today, only because they came out at around the same time and they sort of tie in together. I'm unamused with this first one. So, um, a little bit of backstory. Um, after Mortal Kombat was a big, it was huge, right? Mortal Kombat one did really well. Two, three, all did well. Um, movie movie came out did surprisingly well for what it was and then when did the tv show come out which will all not be just animated that, stuff th those will not be discussed here by the way um they all suck john tobias one of the two co-creators along with ed boone wanted to expand the mythology with side projects we ended up getting two of those fuck you tobias yeah, um, I only meant we're not going to talk about the second one at all because I've never played it and I don't want to. But this one ties a lot more into the storyline than the other one does. So, Mortal Kombat, they decided to do start doing sub games like adventure games based on certain characters. The first one they did was based on Sub Zero. Excellent idea. Uh, Execution and was piss poor. So here we have Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero. Which, to its credit, does do a lot for the mythology of the of the franchise. It does a lot with Scorpion, Sub Zero's backstory. Um, you learn more about um, the Brotherhood of Shadow in the Nether Realm. You learn about Shinnok in this game. You find out about Quan Chi in this game. This is about beat. Uh, does, this... Is it just really just to build up MK4 to figure out who these new villains? Yes, are? this was a, this is basically a prequel to MK4. Okay. It's about it focuses on the older Sub Zero from MK One, and you find out why how Scorpion became a Spectre, how because Sub Zero ripped his head off. <laughs> no, he killed him in cold blood. No, because he was a jerk. Older Sub Zero, you're a jerk. Older Sub Zero is an asshole. But yeah, the, he's the hero in this. Hero. Um. So it ties back into that, but as a game, it's garbage. Um, it's trash. They try using the Mortal Kombat 3 fighting engine for a platformer, and it doesn't work. And it's brutally... Platformer beat em up. It's brutally hard. It's almost unplayable. It's playable? You found elements to this that were playable? Yeah, the first level. It's the only level I can get through. Everything else... Smack me again, I'll break your arm. <laughs> Everything else is garbage. You have to like do. You have to put in the um, like special move commands to do the moves in a, which works in a fighting game, not in a platformer. It's really hard, like really hard, and it's just bad. Don't play it. it... Only get it for completion's sake. If you, you just really watch the cutscenes to... and laugh your ass off on YouTube, oh, yeah, because the cutscenes are all live action played by the actors. The motion capture actors. The guy who plays Kano and Baraka plays Quan Chi, and it's funny. <laughs> the guy who plays Sector and Cyrax plays Scorpion for some reason. Wasn't he? They couldn't bring back Johnny Cage's actor. No, he they, he they, he got cut after MK two. Then who was the actor for MK three? Um, John Turk, who did Scorpion, Sub Zero, uh, Shang Tsung, Reptile. He did all the ninjas. Yeah, he did. Because <laughs> the ninjas are palette swaps. But for some reason, they he wasn't able to do Scorpion and Sub-Zero. They only let him do Scorpion or Sub-Zero. I don't know. Point is, this game sucks. Don't play it. Um, now we get on to Mortal Kombat 4. Um, the actual proper um, sequel. Um, we'll talk about we'll talk about how we feel about it in a second. I, I guess I, should, I, have a, I have a slight story. I remember the first time I saw this was back when the arcades were a thing, and I saw Quan C's ugly fucking mug. Actually, we're in Vegas when I first played it. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, and I just we I, I forget what, where we were. It was just a random arcade. It was in two thousand. Yeah, it was in Vegas. So I just see Quan C's fucking face, same actor from Mythologies, but and I just see it's Mortal Kombat. Like. Ooh. Well, this is the, this is the second and Mortal Kombat. And Quan Chi was the character I picked for some reason. Oh, the first game, this was the second Mortal Kombat game I played. The first one was Trilogy. Um, first time I played, this was at my cousin's house, actually. Was that before or after this vacation? Was, this was like 1997, 98 when I first played this. 
So I played it before. I played it before you did. Clearly. Um, but it was the first game to go 3D, and um, it takes place not too long after three. For the first time ever, we have a new bad guy. Yeah. So we have the fallen elder god Shiddock is the new bad guy. And Quan Chi, just how Shang Tsung worked for Shao Kahn, Quan Chi works for Shiddock. So all these superpowered guys have sorcerers working for them. Um, Shiddock's back. He's going to do bad things. And Raven's like, no, we got to stop you. So story-wise, this isn't really as um, big of a deal as the other three. Um... Really it's kind of one and done. Really, all it mounts down to is Liu Kang defeats Shiddock. So it's literally just one and done. It's like yeah. more, you find more out story wise about Scorpion and Sub Zero than anything else, which is what I'm going to focus on story wise in this. Um, a big part of Scorpion's character development is revealed in this game. Um, you find out he's been working for Quan Chi this whole time. Quan Chi's the one who brought him back to the Spectre. And Quan Chi puts it in his head, in Scorpion's head, that just because be, even though the older Sub-Zero killed you, the younger Sub-Zero is the one who why, killed your family and clan. Scorpion being a gullible jerk was like... Okay. So he finds Sub-Zero and pulverizes him. Um, when, Before he can kill him, Sub-Zero's like, I didn't do that. <laughs> And Scorpion's like, what? And Quan Chi's like, no, 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 that was me. I did that. Ha <laughs> ha. So, uh, Scorpion... Whoa. You know, if you're trying to get someone on your side and trick them, you don't reveal... So before Quan Chi can send him to the Nether Realm, Scorpion sends him to the Nether Realm and traps him there. But isn't Quan Chi from the Nether Realm also? No. So we'll find out more what happens with that in the next game. But canonically speaking... Liu Kang defeats Shinnok, and Scorpion technically defeats Quan Chi. Really, nothing else happens in this game story wise. It's, this game's kind of. It's not that big of a deal. The motion. They're going through the motions. This, this is more of a setup for the next trilogy of games than it is a sequel to the preview. That makes sense. Kind of. Because what happens here sets up the next three games. Which we'll get to in another day. Unfortunately, we'll get we'll again, we'll we'll get there. Um, now, in terms of the roster, um, there's a lot of returning characters and a lot of new characters. So, returning characters, of course, we have Liu Kang, who's basically the same as he always been. He's wearing a shirt now. Johnny Cage is back because he technically wasn't in MK3, unless you count trilogy. Sonya's back. Jax is back. Scorpion and Sub-Zero are back. Um, something about Sub-Zero. He's wearing his older brother's suit in this game. I don't know what the big deal about that is. So he looks more like a ninja again. But it's very Because well, people but... didn't like his design in 3, so they made him a ninja. Yeah, then why did they just give him a suit from MK2? Um, I, think that's, <laughs> I think that's it for the return. Oh, Reptile. Reptile's back. But he looks... Different. A lot different. And that's also leading into the next trilogy of games, which we'll talk about later. I'm actually trying to... Because MK4... Yes, yeah, so that's all the... Oh, you can also unlock Noob Cybot. Yes. New character-wise, we have Fujin, who's actually kind of cool. He's yeah, like... He's, he's, cool. The, he's the god of wind... Whereas Rain is the god of thunder. So, actually, a big part of the story I didn't mention. After Shinnok's defeated, Raiden becomes an elder god. And lets Fujin take his place. Which is, like, retconned in the next game, but whatever. Not really retconned, he's like... Jarek. Yeah, there's a new character named Jarek who's straight up just a replacement for Kano. He has yeah. all of Kano's moves. So he probably was supposed to be Kano. But Why then they changed a new character in the last know. minute in development. Kai, who's another Shaolin Monk character. Um, Quan Chi, this is his first appearance, and he is one of the only characters introduced in this game that continues on. He's a sorcerer. Straight. Yeah. Uh, Reiko. He's a Shao Kahn fanboy. 
um, Tanya, who also does continue on later. And then the boss character, Shiddock, who makes, like, one other appearance, not counting Armageddon. So, the uh, thing about the new characters, really, aside from Quant... Oh, and there's Meat. You can unlock Meat. Who gives a fuck about Meat? Meat was in this game? Yep. My god. It's like the self-forgettable I didn't even realize. Exactly. Exactly. Aside from Quant, she, and Tanya... None of these other characters continue on except at Armageddon. And that doesn't really count. <laughs> and I guess well, shit. Oh, and sh oh, Fujin. Eh, not till MK, not till like MK11. Dear God. He was in MK10X. He was in the story. Yeah. And then Shinnok is comes back as the boss character later, but that's it. None of the other characters continue on because they suck. Like, who remembers Kai? Yeah, uh, you remember Kai? He had, he had the silver hair. He had the tattoos. His, his big beast was Dronzer. From Beyblade? Yeah. Who else would I be talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> um, Jarek. Why wasn't he just Kano? Who the fuck is Jarek? What the fuck is so important about Jarek? He was supposed. I guarantee you, in development, he was supposed to be Kano. And they decided to make a new character last second because he has all he has the ball, he has the eye beam, he has all of Kano's moves. <sighs> I mean Fujin's cool. I think Fujin's cool. Fujin's cool. Um Tanya does come back a couple times. Shinnok's if you compare him to Shang Tsung or Shao Kahn, he's nothing. He is at this point in the story in the game series and Actually, probably in general, the easiest boss character in a Mortal Kombat series. Yeah. He, he's he's just a normal. You could pick him in the roster. He's a normal character, and he he doesn't even have his own moves. That he just copies other people's moves. He sucks. <laughs> um, if you play the arcade version, the sub boss is Quan Chi. If you play the home console version, they added Goro back. Yes. So Goro's in there. Why? Because, uh, I mean, it's cool to see him back, but... Because it's Goro? Because it's Goro. Yeah, I mean, it's cool to see Goro again, but... Okay. <laughs> Doesn't add anything, it's just there. Um, Control-wise, this is kind of awkward, honestly. Well, this um, is the first time they've made it in 3D. And it's not even really 3D, it's just 3D graphics. <laughs> but they yeah. tried, it's, and it's awkward, the gameplay is sluggish. You can pull out weapons, which suck. The fatalities are really boring. Isn't there one where someone like... No, that's the next scene. Never mind. Scorpion turns to a giant scorpion in this one. Better than a penguin. Yeah, it's, it is better than a penguin. Uh, but it, it, the controls are kind of clunky. It feels awkward to play. I'd ra I want to go. I'd wa I want to go back to two or three every time I play four. I don't even play for. The graphics aren't really anything to write home about. There were better looking games at the time. Um, gra I get what year did this come out? 97. Tekken 3 was out. Was Tekken 3 out? I think so, 97? I know, Tekken 2 was out at the very Tekken least. Tekken 2 was out. didn't look better than this. Tekken 2 looked better than this. Tekken 2 was better than this. <laughs> better, yes. Oh, Tekken 3 did come out in 97. Yeah. Tekken 3 is a much better game than Mortal Kombat 4. <laughs> yes, the Lord of Tekken at first. No. Typically, I'm more of a Mortal Kombat fan than a Tekken fan, but Tekken 3 is so much better than Mortal I'm Kombat. I'm more of a Mortal Kombat fan, but I am the Lord of Tekken. I mean, I like Tekken 2, but not I like Tekken, Tekken 2. I'm not, I, mean, I meant also, but... And... What else? They took out babalities, friendships, and animalities. You know, the fun things. They yeah, tried to make this more... Admittedly, that was just a little too much, and a lot of it was repeats. Try to make it dark and serious. Okay. <laughs> yes. No, no, there's just... This, it's, this is kind of like the forgotten MK game. Um, Because it doesn't really tie in the original trilogy. The next trilogy... Doesn't fit into this. And then the, the third... Trilogy barely fits in the world combat. It's more remembered than this game. Sure. 
And then there's the, the new trilogy doesn't really... So... All in all, I got... Aside from... There are only two MK games I think are worse than this in terms of the main games. This is this is near the bottom for me. Yeah, it's near the bottom. It's not the worst. But story wise, it really doesn't do anything for me. Gameplay wise, nothing to write home about. The endings are ridiculous. Oh, the best one. Oh. Eat. Oh, Jarek just jumps off the thing. He's so worthless, he kills himself. I don't even... The worst character in the series will be in the next game, don't you worry. Um, The worst character will be in the next... Deadly Alliance, I think, is the worst Mortal Kombat character ever. I'll talk about that when we review Deadly no, Alliance. No, I, I, I got one. What game? Deception. Oh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Yep. I hate this next trilogy coming up. I really do. I don't hate it. We're not there yet. But yeah, no, I gotta say, this is not, um... Should we talk about Mortal Kombat Gold? I was about to get there. So, this was re-released on the Dreamcast with better... It did look a lot better than the Dreamcast. It looked better, and there was, like, five new characters. They had a Sector, Cyrax, Baraka. Marina... Katana, Barack, and I think maybe Kung Lao. Yeah, Kung Lao's in it. They added Kung Lao. Okay, so but it can, I I gold is certainly better, but at that point it's just polishing. But if you're gonna play a fighting game on the Dreamcast, it's not gonna be Mortal Kombat Four. It's gonna be Soul Calibur, Marvel versus Capcom Two. <laughs> God, I want Marvel versus Capcom Two again. But no, you're you're. It, it's better if you're gonna play Mortal Kombat Four, get gold. If you have heck any of the Street Fighter games that were on it. If you have a if you have a Dreamcast, it's not the fighting game I tell you to go for. <laughs> if it's a, if you're looking for a Mortal Kombat game, that's not the one I tell you to go for. Um, what if you could still get some boot? Do that bootleg shit for Dreamcast? You probably can. That's that's a topic for another day. Um, yeah. Like, to wrap up, garbage. Meh. No, and just to be stupid, diarrhea, a nice steady shit. Next time we do a World Cup, we'll do Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Fuck you. So, look forward to that. That means I gotta rewatch that. Fuck you. I have to do it. Fuck you. And it's so bad. No. It has to be done. No, I don't want to watch it. I don't either, but it has to be done. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching people rant about Mortal Kombat 4. Next time will be um, Annihilation, which will be... The Annihilation of all of us. Oh, boy. I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Take care.